I've been good to all of us, as always. And we have one more week before we leave the country for our European tour. <laughs> the 29th is my last Sunday here. And then, God willing, after that, I see you by July in Greensboro, North Carolina. We will be in several different European countries doing what God has blessed us to do for the past 38 years, and that is to preach the Word of God. We have been pastoring for 38 years, and we have been preaching for 45 years. And the Lord certainly have added daily such as should be saved. <clears throat> now I want to say to all the brothers and sisters of the truth of God in the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ in Wisconsin, as I mentioned, the Lord had blessed us with a new temple. We made settlement, uh, made about a week, a little bit more. So to all the viewers of the state of Wisconsin, the brothers will be taking all the members on a walkthrough of the new temple there on the 29th of this month, which is Sunday coming. The address is 228 West State Street, Hartford, Wisconsin. That's 228 West State Street, Hartford, Wisconsin, which is only about 30 minutes away from Milwaukee. The Lord bless us, we was able to buy that cash and we don't have a mortgage, so that's a blessing. Very beautiful size temple, balcony, plenty of room. God willing, I'll get a chance to get in there once I get back from our European tour. I just don't have the time. There was a time I had the time. But now things have grown so until <clears throat> we are pulled in so many directions internationally, so we have to let a lot of the ministers do what we normally would do. So to all of you that is in the Milwaukee, Wisconsin area, remember, after the first service, next Sunday on the 29th, the brothers will be taking you through the walkthrough of the New Temple 228 West State Street. Hartford, Wisconsin. All are welcome to come. There won't be service there. You'll be doing a walkthrough there and we'll be itemizing to everybody what, to the brothers especially, what needs to be done. Yes. Get things cleaned out and it's just cosmetic work. Yes. I'm glad it's nothing major. We had our inspectors go in there and even the inspectors said, well, if you want to, you can go right in there to have service. But you know the way I love to change things. But it doesn't require a lot of major of anything. Put down some new carpet and repaint and bring some new gospel. Get rid of the old gospel out of there and bring some new gospel in there. Which is the best gospel in there. All right, now I finally got some announcements. <laughs> All right, now to you. Oh, well, this is today. Service will be held from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, in the Dallas, Texas area, 8017-8017, Hendon Drive, Dallas, Texas. Uh, this is service is today from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. All of you that are watching in the Dallas, Texas area, the address is 8017. Henan Drive, Dallas, Texas, from eight from six p.m. to nine p.m. there in Dallas, Texas. So you come on out if you want to be baptized as well, and uh, get yourself straightened out according to scriptures. Also, uh, June fifth, baptisms will be held at sixty-five forty-one West Hammer Lane, Las Vegas, Nevada. From, not, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. All of you that's in the Las Vegas, Nevada area, 
Baptisms will be taking place there on June 5th, 6541, West Hammer Lane, Las Vegas, Nevada. That's between the hours of 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Now, if you come after that, I'm pretty sure, as always, the brothers will linger around enough to get you all situated so they can get you in water and get the devil off of you. June 5th, 6541, West Hammer Lane in Las Vegas, Nevada. You that are in the uh, Richmond, Virginia area, pay attention. July 18th at the Four Points Sheraton Hotel. The address is 4700 South Laburnum Avenue. Services will be held at 11 a.m. Richmond, Virginia, July 18th. Four Points by Sheraton Hotel, 4700 South Laburnum Avenue, Richmond, Virginia. Services will be held at 11 a.m. You're more than welcome to come. Also, you that are in the uh, Oxford, North Carolina area, the new address where services is held, 125 Orange Street, Oxford Community Center, Wednesdays at 6 p.m., Sunday at 10.30 a.m., and also at 3 p.m. You that are in the Oxford, North Carolina area, the new address for services is 125 Orange Street at the Oxford Community Center, Wednesdays at 6 p.m., Sunday at 10.30 and at 3 p.m. Now, if you want further information, you contact our minister there, Elder Ben Arrington, at area code 919-691-5630, 919-691-5630. All right, let's update you on those that were baptized. I believe we have seven in headquarters, one in New Brunswick, two in Bronx, New York, one in Pine Bush, New York, two in Baltimore, one in Raleigh, four in Columbia, South Carolina, two in Augusta, Georgia, five in Atlanta, two in Mobile, four in Orlando, Florida, three in Jackson, one in Monroe, Louisiana, two in Lafayette, Louisiana, two in Minnesota, two in Little Rock, Arkansas, three in Houston, Texas, three in Detroit, Three in North Chicago, two in Indianapolis, two in the Netherlands. Uh, one in Curry City, Australia, five in Cape Town, South Africa, 65 in Mozambique. One received the Holy Ghost, making 123 souls. So, as always, God is doing a wonderful job. And without him, by all means, it couldn't get done. We was here early because we had to put together our African tour coming up. We moved it from August to September. And uh, God willing to the saints in Dubai and Burundi and Malawi and Mozambique and Cape Town and Johannesburg. God willing, we look to be in your areas in September. To all of the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ in the South Pacific area near Japan. God willing, we'll be organizing a South Pacific tour. New Guinea, New Zealand, Australia, Philippines, Fiji Islands, Cook Islands, Tonga Islands, Solomon Islands, Samoan Islands, and several other islands out there in the South Pacific. So uh, God willing, we hope we put that together and have that done so we can 
get moving by December. And uh, I'll be back in time for our closing year Holy Convocation. So as you can see, brothers and sisters, we're very busy. Uh, we'll be out for a month in June. We'll be out practically a month again in September and practically a month again in December. There was a time that, well, we wasn't able to be out for a month unless you're on vacation. But now God have, by his word, dragged in so many fish into the net. Till I can say like the apostle that the net broke. And, uh, and it has broke and there's all kinds coming in. We can't even hold the people. It is marvelous. To have a gospel <coughs> that can do more in one day. Yeah. Amen. What men are trying to do for 30, 40, and 50 years. Amen. That's the difference. Yeah. When God do it versus men doing it. Yeah. Amen. When God do it, it's done right, done well. And he's satisfied. When men do it, don't be surprised what kind of mess is made. Hmm. Men are still howling about the truth of God and well, they're going to holler. Yes, Somebody came to me and told me about some so-called apostle hacked into the emails of the church. Imagine that. Apostle, that's a burglar. <laughs> hacked into the emails of the church, I don't know. And uh, one of my ministers out of Texas contacted me and said that he talked to this fellow over the phone and the fellow recorded him. And then I was told the conversation he sliced in bits and pieces to make it like the minister was saying things that he wasn't saying. The minister texted me and apologized and I told him, remember what I've been preaching, let them alone. Even though he was just asking questions to the fellow that he couldn't answer. Let him alone. alone. Jesus said, if the blind lead the blind, they both go to hell. <laughs> That's right. Well, that case solved. That's solved. You got to consider this, brothers and sisters. These men throw the name of Pastor Jennings all over their website because they don't have no work and they're not doing nothing and they know viewers see where the name Geno Jennings is, they automatically log on. Yeah. That's right, that's right. And somebody, I was watching one of the messages and it came up, Geno Jennings followers could not defend the truth. <clears throat> uh -huh. And that came up under the Hebrew Israelites. And they was arguing with some fella out in the street and it had nothing to do with Geno Jennings. Nothing. They just attach my name to the website so people can come log on. Let us remember, these folks are hunting for subscribers. And they use my name to get subscribers and viewers. I don't use their name. Don't have to. We use the name of the Lord Jesus yet. Strong enough. Stronger than my name. Well, this is why you hear false prophets and pulpit derelicts. Bible toting hobos. Using our name to bring viewers to their platform and to their website. And when you log on, <clears throat> sometime I see where my name is and I don't recognize the site. And I will log on and see it about a few seconds and go somewhere else because there's nothing there. I saw my name on one site and log on and there was two fellas in robes, like two abandoned false prophets, like someone dropped them off in a, 
in a hotel room and they were sitting close to a camera talking about Geno Jennings and Bishop Johnson. Bishop Johnson and Geno Jennings. They said the Lord sent them to destroy Pastor Jennings and Bishop Johnson. Bishop Johnson been dead 60 years. Talking about him, don't phase him at all because he can't feel it. The work that he done, well, you will never be able to rival it or match it. Sitting somewhere in the bathroom broadcasting out of a toilet. You won't be able to rival this. Glory to God. And so you'll find Pastor Jenner's name been hijacked and used by social media peddlers. Whether in the north or the south or the east or the west. They're just making podcasts or something. something. Geno Jennings this. Geno Jennings that. Geno Jennings the other. I didn't realize that folks cared this much. <laughs> but you'll understand when you meet the Lord. Yes, you You're going to find that the name of Geno Jennings won't help you. You're going to need the name of the Lord Jesus to get your britches out of hell. You bear in mind, when you get in hell, you're going to be there. Yeah. And not even the name of Jesus Christ will have enough power then to get you out of hell. That's right. Someone said, what? That's right. That's right. When he puts you in there, you can call on his name all through eternity. That's the time that not even his name will be able to pull the flames of hell off of you because it is not his will for him to put you in there then get you out No, it's his will now to keep you from going there alright I want to work on being talented today Amen. there was one that was given one talent and I believe another one two and another one five that's right I want to itemize this and see can you see yourself. Amen. All right, hear me good. You that don't like this, well, you hear it anyway. Amen. All right, Williams, let's go to work. Matthew chapter 25, and we we'll start reading at verse 14. Yes. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. Notice the comparison. The kingdom of heaven is as, is as, is likened unto a man traveling into a far country. He's on the journey. That's right. Far country. Let you know that it takes a lot to get into the kingdom. That's right. You got to go through a lot. Oh, yes. If you're on a far journey, brother, you're going to have to endure a lot before you get to your destination. That's right. All right. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. Yes. Who called his own servants. Yes. And delivered unto them his goods. Uh -huh. And unto one he gave five talents. Now listen. Hmm. Unto one he gave five talents. To another two. Two. And to another one. One. To every. Now here. Amen. Hmm. Five, hmm. two, one. Everybody can handle the same thing. No. There are those that can handle large responsibility. That's right. And then there are those that handle small responsibility. That's right. Then there are those that are irresponsible, period. <laughs> you can't trust them doing nothing. That's right. You give them something to do, they fail. You give them something else to do, they fail. You give them something easy to do, they fail that. <laughs> then you have those that are so lazy, they don't want to do nothing. That's right. Viewers, and you that are here, when you have a talent, a skill, a capability, you should want to see how can you Glorify God with it. That's right. What kind of help can you be to God's work? Yeah. 
Use your talent for God's glory. That's right. Not to edify the wicked. No. Not to edify the unrighteous. No. Not to promote evil or to promote sin. That's right. Are you listening? And unto one he gave five talents. Unto one he gave five talents. He gave quite a bit. To another to two. To another two. two. And to another one. Now the one that had one was just as important yeah. as the one that had two and the one that had five. That's right. In other words, whatever you're able to do, hear me good. That's right. Little or much, yeah. do it to the best of your God-given ability. That's right. If you can do a whole lot of it, but just a little bit of it, do it. Glory to God to the full best of your ability. That's you know, right. as a child coming up, <clears throat> I always seen my father working on something. And I remember in the kitchen one day, he was fixing the radiator. And he had a hammer. And I liked the noise that was coming from the hammer as a result of hitting that radiator. Hey, hey. So I got up. I remember my mother bought me some camping shorts. You know the shorts that had the zippers everywhere. Most of us young fellows had them. Zippers everywhere. And she bought me, she used to work at Lit Brothers then. Oh, yeah. And she brought me one of those fake utility belts. <laughs> I remember that. I probably was about five or six. I had a plastic hammer, screwdriver, pliers, and all that. Brother, you couldn't tell me I wasn't a man. <laughs> oh, you couldn't tell me I wasn't a man, brother. When I put that belt on, something came over. <laughs> I felt mighty strong. So I saw my father with his hammer, so I ran upstairs and got my utility belt, had all my tools. I looked at what my father was using, and I would mimic it. He had the tools laid out on the floor and took mine out on the floor. And he had that hammer, and you know that ready to that iron, <laughs> making that ping. But I didn't have an iron hammer, mine was plastic. <laughs> But when I hit the radiator, I looked at my hammer. I looked at his hammer. He hit it again. I hit it again. I said, wait a minute, something ain't right here. <laughs> Why? Because it was two different materials. Right. Then he told me, he said, son, look, that's plastic. That's, that's not real. You got to have this to have, you know, the, the, for it to be real. Mm-hmm. So then I wanted his hammer. You said, you can't have mine now. I'm busy. Whenever God give you skill, and I want this to be good for all of you musicians in the world yeah. that play for all of these religious organizations and thousands of you watch the truth of God. And many locations where we go around the world Baptist musicians are there, Pentecostal, non-denominational, R&B singers, and all of that stuff come in. Yeah. The talent that you have, talent. are you using it for God's glory or are you celebrating mm -hmm. Satan? That's it. Because there's only two you're worshiping. That's right. One or the other. One or the other. God or the devil. Now hear me, let's get some understanding. Because some of you rappers are R and B singers, all of a sudden you get a spell from hell that make you feel well for a period of time. And then you say, Well, I think I make a song about Jesus. That's right. And if an R and B singer or a straight up sinner Make a song about Jesus right then. Mm -hmm. The public said, Well, oh, he's a Christian now. He's a Christian. That's true. 
quick, right off the bat. That's right. Oh, he's a Christian now. That's right. Let's make something plain. <laughs> Making a song about Jesus don't make you one of his. No. Making a song about Jesus don't make you a Christian. No. Making a song about Jesus don't make you a believer in him. That's right. I want to say with Pastor Jennings, if a person don't believe in him, why make a song about him? Because the name of Jesus Christ sells. That's right. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. The name of the Lord Jesus sells. That's right. The wicked have merchandised his name since they came into the knowledge of his name. That's right. Don't you know if you take that name and abuse it and misuse it, misuse. you are misrepresenting that name, what it stands for? That's right. How are you using your talent? You have a good I, I hard head. That's right. How are you using your talent? That's right. Here you got one, five, five talents. talents. In other words, you could be multi-talented. That's true. That's true. How are you using it? How are you using it? You're a seamstress. Hmm. What are you making? Hmm. Leviticus 10, 10, I have to balance this. Balance it out, that's right. In Leviticus chapter 10. And then 10. first epistle of John. Yes. Something that we're told not to love. That's it. In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Hear this, viewers. I want to thunder it. <laughs> Amen. Real good until I blow your toupee off. <laughs> Hear this. Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Parliament. And that ye may put difference. That you may put a difference. Between holy, holy and unholy. That you may put a difference between God and the devil. And between unclean. Between sin. And clean. And that which is not sin. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You are seamstress. Who are you sewing for? Hmm. What are you making? What are you making? Are you making that which the righteous will wear? That's right. Are you making that which the unrighteous would wear? That's it. A lot of women all around the world often write me, hear me preach against wearing pants and shorts, and, mm -hmm. and they are so grateful, so many thousands and many thousands. Got rid of all that stuff. And, but some right men say, Pastor Jennings, should I give my pants to my sinner sister or my sinner relatives? Mm. And I tell all of them, no, we're no. trying to take the stuff off of them, <laughs> not you put it on them. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. So I say, give the devil back his tools. Ain't no Bible said that. That's your mouth. Amen. But the Bible says it don't strengthen the hands of, of the evil doers. Door. That's what the Bible says. In Jeremiah 23 and verse 14. If, if, I, if, if God delivered me from the cigarettes, why would I give all my old cigarettes to my friends? Right. I should be encouraging him to stop like I, like I stop. That's right. If God delivered me from the liquor bottle, why should I go to my wine cellar? <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. And give all my wine to my friends. That's right. I should be encouraging them Lay down your bottle. That's right. If I'm going to take the evil, hear me good, that God delivered me from, and then pass that evil on to the next one, right? then I'm putting you in the same bondage that God took me out of. Jeremiah 23 and verse 14. They strengthen also the hands of... I, they strengthen... Also the hands... They of, build up the hands... Of the evildoers... Of the wicked... That none doeth return... And, and by what you given them, it can make them stay out there so long they won't return... From his wickedness... They won't stop what they're doing because you aiding them... Aided them... That's right... That's right... Give chapter and verse. That was Jeremiah 23 and verse 14. So whatever, hear me good, what God delivered you from, don't you pass that wicked on to someone else. That's right. That's right. I want to take my time and soak you a little. Amen. 
Get this, viewers. Back in Leviticus 10 and verse 10. He said, put a difference between holy and unholy. And unholy. And All right, let's go back, I believe, to Matthew, is it? It was Matthew 25 and verse 15. Follow me. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and yes. to another one. And to every man according to his several ability. Do you hear this? Amen. To every man according, according to his several ability. You see, everybody don't have the same ability. No. No. Not everybody. Some can drive a car, but they can't drive a van. Yes. That's true. Some can drive a car and a van, but can't drive a bus. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? In First Peter chapter Some four verse eleven. Some can drive a car, a van, and a bus, but you better not put them on a motorcycle. That's right. They hit everything in sight. Amen. I can drive a car. I can drive a van. Can't drive a bus. That's right. I got the gospel, but don't put me behind the steering wheel of a bus. That's right. Huh? That's right. Someone said, believe, Pastor Jennings. I do believe. <laughs> I believe I cannot drive a bus. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Maybe think of when I was a child, I was in Champaign, Illinois, in the 70s when they had the mini bikes. That's right. A friend of mine was riding that mini bike and that thing, he was moving. <laughs> it looked easy. He said, Nicky, you want to try it? I said, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tried it. Tried it. And, uh, <laughs> you know, when you look back at things, you marvel how dumb you were. <laughs> Especially when all you had to do was let some things go. You ever be you know, something burning your hands and you're holding on to it still. And for deliverance, just let it go. Let it go. Well, I was on the mini bike and there was an old woman I never forget came to the door of her house. And uh, the mini bike went out of control and the wheels was turning all of her grass and the woman was at the door saying, young man, young man, shoo, shoo, please, you turn up my grass. And uh, <laughs> I moved the handle the wrong way, which gave me more juice. <laughs> Boy, that thing tore up her beautiful flowers and roses. Oh, that woman's heart was broken. <laughs> and I broke it. That mini bike tore it up, ripped it to shreds. Amen. That woman called me everything but a child of God. Amen. So when I finally, and, and the gentleman's name was Nate. Nate said, Nick, let, let it go, man. Just, just take your hand. And I still had that thing holding down there. He said, let it go. And then I came, I got revelation then. But by that time, the work was done. Amen. If there was any idols there, we tore it up. Amen. So uh, we ruined it. <laughs> ruined it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we ruined it. Now, I didn't have the talent to ride that many bikes. That's right. And I didn't get on one ever again. Amen. I remember so many brothers in the church at one time was buying motorcycles, motorcycles, motorcycles. Oh, they was pushing for me to buy one. That's right. Oh, man, I mean, them fellas were riding me. Pastor Jennings getting a shade was on my case, motorcycle. Uh, Kenneth, who's now Brother Youssef, down in Baltimore, he's probably watching. Get a motorcycle. Brother Tracy, Tracy had a beautiful motorcycle. I think it was a BMW, mm -hmm. one of the most beautiful motorcycles I've seen. <laughs> He had his parked on the side of Frankfurt Avenue one day, our old headquarters. And he said, try it out, Pastor. I said, really? He said, yeah. <laughs> I got on it. The key was not in it. And the kickstand was on it, as far as I got. Amen. I got on it. Amen. And then one time I was talking about buying one. My wife said, you bet. <laughs> Daddy said, man, you bet not somebody going to be scooping you with a shovel <laughs> all off the road. I said, well, you know, I can, I can 
take less. He said, Gino, just stick with a car. <laughs> so that gave me revelation. Revelation. In other words, I stick with what I know. That's it. Whatever talent you have, brothers and sisters. That's right. Nothing wrong because if you are talented, someone knows the same skill better than you. That's right. One scripture says, iron sharpeneth iron. Iron sharpeneth iron. So whatever talent or skill you have, improve it. Yeah. When you're able to expand in it, like when my kids in school always ask them coming up what you want to do. You know, they tell me I want to go to college and do this, do that. I'm like, well, how, what degree you want to get? Daddy, I want to get this degree. And then I'm always asking, what's the next degree after that? Right. In other words, I don't want them to park at one degree. That's right. When you're able to get another degree or another degree to increase yeah. what you're learning. That's right. The Bible says, knowledge shall increase. Knowledge shall increase. And in every area of life, spiritual or natural, yes. you always can do better than what you're doing. That's right. Now, it would be good if all three of these ones that was given talent thought on the same manner. Yeah. Yeah. Listen at this. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one. Yes. To every man according to his several ability. Uh -huh. And straightway took his journey. Uh -huh. Then he that had received the five talents. He that received five talents. Went and traded with the same. He traded. He invested. And made them other five talents. He took what he had and invested. That's right. Accumulated more. More. But he had to be a wise investor. Right. Guaranteed return. That's right. Sometime in life you make bad investments. Yeah. You know, when you deal with people, you are investing in them. Oh, yes. Whether you're investing your emotions, whether you are investing your thoughts, whether you are investing your personal information. Yeah. In church, you are investing your soul. That's right. Yeah. Viewers, when you are in a religion, participating in that religion, yeah. you are investing in that religion. Yes. Whether that religion is guaranteed to get you on God's side or it will keep you away from God, That's one right. or the other. One or the other. Hear this. Then he that had received the five talents. Then what? He that had received the five talents. He that received the five talents. Went and traded with the same. He traded. Amen. With the same. And made them other five talents. Got more back. In other words, progress was made. Progress. Yes. That's right. With your skill, you can accumulate more with that one skill. That's right. But you got to use it correctly. Correctly. And if you don't know how to use it, get together with someone that knows. Right. You know, sometimes you have a person with a skill, but they're a beginner. That's right. And then we go to that person for help, but they're a beginner. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they only can take you but so far. That's right. And if they're wise, they will consult someone that's in the same skill who had it longer than they. If thou love to hear. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 6 and verse 33. If you love to hear. Thou shalt receive understanding. That's plain. That's plain. It's hard for many people to understand because you can't tell them nothing. Right. This generation think they know everything. That's right. And they don't know what they don't know. That's right. That's true. Best to find out first before you make a decision. Yeah. Don't make a decision and you're so far in. And then when you get in, then you try to find out. No, you find out before you get in there. That's right. Mm -hmm. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. If you love to hear, you'll get understanding. And if thou bow thine ear. If you bow, if you submit yourself. Thou shalt be wise. You, you'll learn something. That's right. You won't be a fool all your life. Stand in the multitude of the elders. Where? Stand in the Stand multitude. In the multitude. Of the elders. Of them that's in a advisory capacity. Hold that, it. That's yeah. right. That's right. Stand in the multitude of the elders. Of the elders. That don't mean all old folk tell you the right information. No. That don't mean that. No. Because the Bible said the age is not always, always wise. wise. 
Yeah, some old folk, you listen to them, you'll be in jail. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. Some of the advice some of these old folk will give you, some may give you the best information that they can, but that doesn't make it right. No. What makes it right is when it coincides with what God says. That's right. Uh -huh. Stand in the multitude of the elders. Then what? And cleave unto him that is wise. Cleave. Cleave. Under him that is wise. When someone is wise, how should we treat him? Cleave unto Clean him. Clean to him. Cleave to him. That's Tie right. yourself to that which is wise. That's right. Why? You want to drink all the wisdom you they got to offer you. That's right. Uh -huh. Be willing to hear. What? Be willing to hear. Oh my Lord, the whole earth might as well shut down. <laughs> That's right. Even the scripture says, He that hath an ear to hear, let him. Let him. Hear what the Spirit or what the Lord That's right. says to the church. That's right. The Bible says what? Be willing Be to Be willing. Hear. Willing. Willing. Amen. You get a person that's stubborn, you got to force them to listen. Oh, yeah. And when you talk, they ain't, they ain't really hearing. That's right. They're just there to occupy space. That's right. And the proof is the results of their actions become unfruitful. Yeah. Uh -huh. Be willing to hear every godly discourse. Dude, be willing to hear every, every godly discourse. Every godly discourse. And let not the parables of understanding. Let not the parables of understanding, of understanding escape thee. Escape thee. And if thou you see, a lot of times Jesus, Amen. when he was here, told us earthly things, yeah. earthly parables. That we may understand the spiritual things of God. That's right. So sometimes you have to present some people the natural things yeah. in order for them to understand the spiritual side first. That's All right, right, let's go back to Matthew and take our time with this. Back in Matthew 25 and verse 16. Follow me. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same. Yeah. And made them other five talents. Well, see, God can give you a lot of talent. Yeah. God has given us a lot of talent as a builder. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yes. We start out with about 12 to 15 people in the basement. Yeah. And God made us, we took his word and started investing it. That's right. <laughs> yes, we did. We started investing it. That's right. He taught me how to invest. Taught you how. When we, when we begin to invest, more souls begin to come in. Oh, yeah. And then we went to Briar Road, started investing it there. Yeah. Went to Frankfurt Avenue, started investing it there. Yeah. Came here at Lindley, started investing it. Now, it's a investment, a holy investment all around the world. That's right. So God don't give everybody a lot. No. To invest. Oh, no. First, see what you can do with the little. That's I right. believe the Bible said a little one yeah. shall become a thousand. Become a, thousand. Yeah. a little one. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When God showed me this work, I wasn't Pastor Jennings at the time. I was just Gino, as they called me down the hood, Nick. Nick. Yeah. That's right. And uh, when he showed me this work, he showed me thousands and thousands and thousands. Amen. But at the time, I was just nicked. A little one. Running up and down the street racing folk. Yes, yes you were. And Williams was one of my worthy components. That's right. Opponents. That's right. Racing. Racing. He never won. <laughs> But we battled it out anyway. That's right. Many times we came close. That's right. Close. Oh, yes. Thank God, but my one always would beat the Trinitary. <laughs> During those days, he was a Trinitary. That's right. Amen. Now, now, now none of those three could help him. <laughs> none of them. But we would run. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm running, playing half ball, hey. roller skates, and hey. riding bikes, and boxing, and Wonderful. doing martial arts, doing mixed martial arts in the hood, boxing. That's Wonderful. right. With a vision hanging over my head from God. Hey. That's right. A little one shall be. A little one. The Bible says, and chapter this was one of the scriptures that God hmm. brought to me over 40-something years ago. Wonderful. Long before. Wonderful. 
I start ever pastoring anybody. Amen. He said a little one. Shall become a thousand. I see that now. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That already been fulfilled in my life. That's right. A little one shall become a thousand. And, and a small one. And a small one. A strong nation. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. 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 A small one. A strong nation. A strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it. What? I, the Lord. Well, hasten it. Oh, it's, it's, it's here now, and, oh, it's, yeah. and, and it's still, still accumulating. Oh, yes. Accumulating now. Oh, yes. Why? You let God do it. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. So when you invest what God give you, yeah. let God guide you. Oh, yes. Where to place that investment, your talent, your skill. That's right. I came out of a church. And uh, the preacher didn't have divine spiritual investment skills. That's right. That's why the work never grew. Yeah. Amen. Couldn't yeah. happen. Oh, and yes. some men been in the church 40, 50, 60, 70 years. Oh, yes. At that same spot. That's right. And the talent that was given to them, necessarily, they don't mean it came from God either. No. You can have the right gospel. Oh, yeah. But that doesn't mean that God gave you the talent to preach that gospel. Yeah. It yeah. takes talent or skill, skill to bring fish. Yeah. That's right. That's Why? Right. All, and this is where the preachers have made their bigger mistake. Mm -hmm. He told us the pot that I make you fishes of men. Fish of men. All fish are not the same, not the same size, not the same weight. Nor do all fish come from the same type of water. That's right. That's true. Are you listening? That's true. But yet, he declared, I make you fishes of men. Of men. So fishing in a pond is different than fishing in an ocean or a river. Oh, yes. The rod got to be different. That's right. Your method has to be different. Yeah. Even the line that's on your rod has to be different. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Eh? That's right. I can't go out and fish for trout with the same type of weight or line as I could uh, for swordfish. That's right. That's true. And for me to know that, I have to know what rod to get. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? Oh, yes. I have to know what rod to get and what kind of line to use. That's right. Holy Ghost said they lie. It's gone out, gone out through all the earth. So we're to God. Do you hear? Hallelujah. Amen. Do you hear this? They're, Psalms 19 and verse 4. They lie. It's gone out through all the earth. And what? And their words. Their words. To the end of the world. To the end of the world. All around the world. All around. Different sized fish, different body of water, which means that the people that are being caught. It's coming out of different surroundings, yeah. different cultures, right. different areas. That's right. Wonderful. And you got to know how to use the scriptures. In the scriptures, Wonderful. you got to know how to hook them. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And bait them. That's right. Hallelujah. But the thing is, the preacher can't hook them. No. And the preacher... Can't bait them. That's right. All the preacher can do is drop the line in the out there. That's right. That's it. That's it. God has to hook them. Amen. And then God has to bait them. Oh, yes. He set the rod up. That's it. That's it. In other words, he prayed the gospel. Yeah. And Jesus said, unless my father draw them, you ain't coming. That's right. Unless the spirit bring you in. Bring you in. You're not coming. That's right. So God wants the preacher to get out of it yeah. and say, it is not you, you. that speaketh. That's right. But the voice of my father. Of my father. That speaketh in you. That speak in you. In you. That's right. So when he said, I make you fishes of men, you're going to preach to the fish. Yeah. yeah. The spirit going to catch them. Yeah. That's right. The spirit go real men. Yes. You just go to the banks. Go ahead. Man. And preach to them. 
That's it. You stand there. That's right. I speak through you. That's right. With such authority that they got to come. It is not ye that speak. Do you hallelujah? Do you hear what Jesus said? In Matthew 10 and verse 20, it is not ye that speak. Oh, it's a God. Hallelujah. It is not you that speak, but, but the Spirit. Who? The Spirit of your Father. The Spirit of God. Which speaketh in you. Another scripture said, the voice of your Father. That's right. The Spirit of God. Which speaketh in you. That speak in you. That's it. Hallelujah. That's, that's, that's who we indict oh, that's and right. blame that's right. for all this carrying on around the world. Amen. 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 Let's go back to Matthew. Come on now. Back in Matthew 25, it's still in verse 16. Get this. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same. Yes. And made them other five talents. Uh -huh. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. Now here the one didn't have the same amount as the five. But he had two. He had two. He didn't sit back no. and did nothing. No. He had the same mind as the one that had five. That's right. In other words, he had good work ethics. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Takes work. You got to be willing to work for God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. You cannot. I don't consider it. Building a work just going around from false church to false church, exchanging services with these old false prophets. No. They ain't bringing nobody That's to Christ. Bringing nobody. No. I just exchanging service, meeting up with hook, a friend hookup. <laughs> That's it. That's I all. came out of that mess when I was in falsehood. That's right. Every Saturday night, joy night. Yeah. Joy night from North Philly to South Philly, the Huntington Park, Erie Avenue, New Jersey, yeah. Delaware, Joy Night. Amen. All of us musicians, man, God, man, we play drums and all type of guitars and pianos and organs and keyboards. Sometimes the yeah. keyboards would be stacked to the left and the front and to the right and the back. Mm -hmm. And the keyboard player would have a swivel chair mm. that he can turn around. Mm. One keyboard in the back, one in the front. Then he goes side to side. Yeah. Nobody repent. Nobody, nobody get repent. baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody receive the Holy Ghost and no one preach nothing. That's right. And when you in that type of slop for years, yeah. it become normal to you. Oh, yeah. Until God wake you up. That's right. And when God wake you up, then you realize your years of church going. Yeah was nothing but a waste of time. Waste of time. And it was God's mercy that kept you from being cut off. That's right. That's right. And at the same time, you were sincere. Oh, yeah. God's mercy was so extended, he even filled you with the Holy Ghost during those times. That's right. That's right. That's truly God's mercy. That's mercy. Amen. The only thing that brought you to the right thing, you remain hungry. Amen. That's right. What of God says, he that hunger and thirst after righteousness, glory to God, shall, hallelujah, shall be filled. Shall be filled. There have to be a hunger down in your soul. Oh, yes. As long as there's a hunger there, you know, when you're hungry, you, you constantly go into the refrigerator. That's right. When you eat, what she got still didn't hit the spot. You look at the fruit bowl. <laughs> that didn't do it. You get a trail mix. That's right. That didn't do it. You order a pizza. Amen. You're still working on. Still it. working on. That's it. the way it is when it comes to your soul. You go from religion to religion to religion, trying Hunger. to fill that void. That's right. And everything you tried is not designed to fill the void. Amen. It is designed to tease the void. That's right. God fills the void. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. God fills it. Blessed are they. Liquor don't fill it. Partying don't fill it. Running with women don't fill it. No. Chasing men don't fill it. Only God can fill it because we were made for God's glory. That's right. Nothing else. That's right. You can try everything under the sun until you be, have you ever 
in your lifetime yeah. tried so much until you got exhausted from it. Oh, yeah. Give me the book of Jasher in mm -hmm. the days of Noah. Yeah. How the Bible say how they tired themselves. Yeah. You got exhausted from running from one thing to the other till you got in your room or somewhere in a chair and sat down out of being so exhausted and said, it got to be something else better than what I'm doing. That's when you're at your end. All the happiness that you used to obtain from sin is gone. Until your lifestyle now becomes boring. It plagued out. You just run around a circle doing the same thing. You get tired of the same company. You get tired of the same friends. And sometimes you try to share with your friends what you're feeling. You be like, hey, girl, or hey, man, listen. Aren't you tired of doing the same thing? We're getting older and older. We're still partying. We're still drinking. And they looking at you while you're talking. You're saying, ain't nothing wrong with me, girl. Ain't nothing wrong with me, girl. They don't feel it. You know why they don't feel it? God ain't started dealing with them yet. So they cannot identify with what you are feeling. Only when God starts dealing with that man, with that woman, can they identify that God is exhausting you. God is making you tired. And what God is making you tired of? Of your own self. Are you listening? In the days of Noah, the Bible says in Jasher how they just, all those days, done wickedly. In the book of Joshua chapter until 6. Until they exhaust themselves. That's right. Listen at this. In the book of Joshua chapter 6 we're at verse 16. In the book of Joshua the 6th chapter, six, chapter. And verse 16. And begin at verse 16. We'll start at verse 15. Verse 15. And Noah and his household. Noah and his household. And all the living creatures that were with him. Yes. Came into the ark on account of the waters of the flood. Let us remember God moved on Noah to warn the world. That's right. Gave Noah a message that was extraordinary, extraordinary, but yet out of the ordinary. That's right. Nobody was preaching it was going to rain. No. Nobody. 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 Nobody was telling the world it's going to rain 40 days. That's right. And 40 nights, they never heard of something. Heard. God gave man 120 years oh, yes. to get right. That's right. A time limit. Mm -hmm. yeah. 120 years That's right. to get it right, a time limit. Oh, yes. And not even then, man was willing to make a change. That's right. How can you not make a change after 120 years space of mm. time for correction? That's right. Listen. And Noah and his household and all the living creatures that were with him yes. came into the ark on account of the waters of the flood. Uh -huh. And the Lord shut him in. The Lord shut them in. And all the sons of men. Listen at this. All the sons of men. That were all left. All the people. All the sons of men. Uh -huh. That were left upon the earth. That was left on the earth. Became exhausted. They became exhausted. Through evil. On wait, account, wait a minute. Wait a hmm. minute. What exhausts them? They became exhausted through evil. What tired them out? Through evil. Wow. Amen. Imagine. Imagine that. Being a sinner so long. <laughs> Amen. That your own sinful life. That's right. Make you tired. <laughs> That's right. All the sons of men. Partying so long you get tired of partying. It done played out. And you don't. You done smoked, you done got high off everything that you can get high off of. That's right. When I was coming up, they was trying everything. And I remember when they started getting high off shoe polish. Mm -hmm. You young generation don't know nothing about that. Amen. I mean, kiwi shoe polish that you put on shoes. Yeah. The big thing was, you take a piece of bread, mm -hmm. peanut butter, and shoe polish. That's right. And eat it. That's right. The next big thing was when I was in school, sniffing glue. Yeah. 
the next big thing when I was in school, sniffing spray paint. That's right. They was hunting for the high, like a full-pledged alcoholic. Yeah. yeah. There was a full-pledged alcoholic. If he or she cannot find a bottle of liquor, they will drain, they will drink pure rubbing alcohol. That's right. Anything to give them that buzz. Yeah. Because they are addicted to it. They would drink rubbing alcohol. They would down cologne. Oh, yes. They would down perfume. Yes. Because they, it, it, it craved, that crave that's in them. Yeah. Yes. Are you listening? And all the sons of men that were left upon the earth became exhausted through evil. Became exhausted through evil? On account of the rain. On account of the rain. For the waters were coming more violently upon the, the earth. The waters was building up. And the animals and beasts were still surrounding the ark. So they got tired. They got exhausted. Is not this the thing that I spoke to oh. you? Oh. Amen. Do you hear this? Jas Jasher 6 and verse 20. In other words, God gave them a heads up. That, that's right. Through Noah. That's right. God is giving the world a heads up now. That's through right. the truth of God. That's right. He's coming. Jesus is coming. Amen. Don't care if you don't believe it. Don't care if you've been hearing this since you was a child. That's right. He's getting closer and closer. And the world, the conduct of the world is fulfilling the scriptures every day. That's right. That's right. You can be stubborn. You can be hard headed as much as you please. As you... But this gospel, you're going to remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, the water that built up in the days of Noah. Yeah. They remember the message that Noah preached. Is not this the thing that I spoke when to you of? When the skies become blackened. Yeah. And fire fall down from God out of heaven. Oh, yes. And the earth, glory to God, begin to shake. That's right. More than it ever had. Yeah. And you're going to look, and there is Jesus. That's right. Lord of creation. That's right. Come on, hallelujah. That's right. You're going to remember, you remember that the words of the prophets oh, yes. and the words of the apostles oh, yes. were so true. That's right. Oh, you can be hard headed and ignore it now. That's your business. That's your business. You're going to find out that your popularity, your wealth, and your entertainment industry, all your awards, your position, none of that will right. help you at all. That's right. Are you listening? Is not this the thing that I spoke to Is you of? Is this not the thing that I told you? Of 120 years back? What? Is not this the thing that I spoke to you of? Of 120 years back? Imagine. Mm. That's what is meant in the book of Genesis. Yeah. That the number of man shall be 120 years. 20 years. Not that God was reducing man age. No. Uh -uh. no like no. it been taught for years by preachers. No. When they said that the number of a man shall be 120 years, preachers have said God, that's when God reduced man age. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That was a sentence. That's right. That God gave man. That's right. For correction. That's right. During the days of Noah. For thus saith the Lord. Listen, at this, let's get Genesis first, then we'll go to the book of Jasher. First in Genesis chapter 6 and at verse 3. Listen. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. For that he also is flesh. Yes. Yet his days. His days. Shall be in 120 years. That means the time on earth. That's it. Before I bring judgment. Right. It's going to be 120 years. 120 years. years. I'm going to give you 120 a 120 year period to get right. That's right. That's right. And imagine you can't even get it right in 120 years. <laughs> Amen. 120 years. 120 years is more than enough time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now in the book of Jasher, chapter and verse, again, balance it out. Now in Jasher, chapter 5 and at verse 8. Says what? For thus saith the Lord. Thus saith God. Behold, I give you a period. I give you a period. Of 100 of 120 and years, 20 years. If you will turn to if me. you will turn. Human family. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The world has been here longer than 120 years. Oh, yeah. Look at the time God has given to people. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And the people are becoming more and more mad, sick, wild. That's right. That's right. Murderers. That's right. Young white gentlemen killed. These, what was it, six or nine young black people? What was it? What, what? I believe it was ten. 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 And he said the reason for doing it, he wants to exterminate 
the black race and save the white race. My Lord, my Lord. Too ignorant to realize that uh, he's of the same race, which is the human race. Human race. Yes. When a white man go murder black, uh, blacks and blacks go murder whites, yeah. what are you all accomplishing? That's right. Nothing. Nothing. You were made for God's glory. That's it. That's it. My daughter was telling me of an article that she saw, uh, and I told her, please, look, you got to print it out so I can read it. Mm -hmm. School up in New York, a school teacher, white school teacher, took the young black students and I think hand, what is it, handcuffed them to a chair or a desk or something, what? and told them to act like they're slaves. Wow. wow. This is, this is a sick society. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All this madness in the world, yes. and these dumb preachers still trying to preach prosperity to you. <laughs> the right. only thing you better do is get right or go to hell. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's right. You white brothers and white sisters yeah. that have this virus of racism in you. Mm -hmm. You black brothers and black sisters that's contaminated with this virus of racism in you. Yeah. I want both of y'all to realize you're nothing but a piece of ungodly, unrighteous dust. That's it. Without God, listen, listen, you may, you may try to act separate now, but you know what going to bring y'all together? Yeah. The grave. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. Hey Amen. Ain't gonna be no grave that says niggas only. Oh, no, no. Ain't gonna be no grave that says crackers only. No, no. It ain't no nigga worms and cracker worms. That's right. It's just worms. Just worms. That's gonna consume your flesh. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know, they don't like when I preach like no, this. No, they don't like that. But I got to tell you anyway. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna tell you in your language. So you got to understand it. That's right. See, your pastor's scared to tell you. <laughs> he just fumble around fumble with it. No, I'm going to tell you in the language you got to understand. Oh, yeah. That there is no nigga graves, no cracker graves, no nigga worm, no, no cracker worm. No, no. Worm. Listen, the same, you're going to find the black buried with the white. That's right. And you're going to find the worms eating on both of you. They shall lie down alike in the wait, dust. Wait, 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 wait. Give chapter and verse. Jo uh, let me get Bible to justify what I said. Job chapter 21 and verse 26. They shall lie down how? They shall lie down alike. No, different. Alike. They're going to be prejudiced down there. They shall lie down alike. No, they don't. One's going to be a racist and one won't. They shall lie down alike. No, 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 no. One's going to be better than the other. They shall lie down alike. Do you hear that? They shall lie down alike. You dumb ignorant hell. Deserving pulpit bigots. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Religion is one of the major tools to drag racism out. That's right. Because 99.9 .9 of these folk that claim they're racist, yeah. in the background they say, I'm a Christian. <laughs> That's true. You no more like Christ than a dog is like a cat. That's right. If you want to be like Christ, come follow the word. That's it. Damn. They shall lie down. Follow the what God said. Amen. They shall lie down how? They shall lie down alike. Hey, 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 skinhead. S skinhead. Skinhead. <laughs> That's right. Skinhead. Amen. You old bald head thing. Come on here. <laughs> That's right. You might as well get ready to lie. Many, many skinheads are dead now. Yeah. Huh? That's right. I don't see their arm protruding out the ground. No. No, no. I don't see that. No. The Holy Ghost said, They shall lie down the light. And let me say to you, so called white and black Christians that are watching, Preach it, brother. If any of you feel uncomfortable with this, mm -hmm. is it because there's prejudice in you? Yeah. Because if you ain't a bigot, you ain't got no problem with what I'm preaching. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Well, I just never heard it like this. You hear niggas in the street. Go ahead. You hear folk talk about crackers in the street. That's right. I'm telling you, God don't make crackers or niggas. That's right. God made men. Go ahead. I'm a man. I'm made in God image. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. When God called and sent me, he wasn't calling no nigga. That's right. He didn't send me as a nigga. That's right. He sent me as a man. That's right. That's what God sent me. Go ahead. That's right. 
All right, listen to what I'm telling you. They shall lie down the light in the dust. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. What he say? They shall lie down the light. You're going to be a light. In the dust. And the worms. The worms. Shall cover them. You're going to find that hand. Amen. Next to that hand. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. A light. You're going to find that hand. That's right. Lay in the grave. That's right. Right next to that hand. That's right. The Holy Ghost hand. They shall lie down a light. Different. A light. Different. A light. Well, somebody say, well, well how, is you, how are they going to be a light, Pastor Jennings? Dead, cold, ugly, and stinking. That's right. Your That's black right. power won't have enough power to quicken you off that ground. That's right. Your white power don't have enough power to get you off that ground. Amen. Only the power of the Holy Ghost will be able to get you out of there at the time of the resurrection. That's right. That's it. Amen. Yeah. Wonderful. You Wonderful. people run to these little kitty cat scared preachers. Preaching, man. Preacher. I'm glad God made me a preacher. Oh, yeah. God made me like I am. Oh, yes. Oh, if they God making me like I am, I don't have a scared nerve within me. That's right. At nobody. At nobody. About nothing. That's right. At no time. Amen. Oh, if they God in no place. Amen. Huh? They shall lie down the light. You're going to be in light, you In digging. the dust. White man, yellow man, brown man, blue man. Amen. Like. Here's all the American government and police force tell the people, you that got guns, mm -hmm. turn them in. We won't say nothing. We give you money for the guns. Yeah. What is that going to do? What is that? You're all going about it the wrong way. Yeah. No man will change Amen. unless God changes. That's right. That's right. Sin is a form of shackles. Oh, yeah. It imprisons a person's mind, so therefore sin dictates how he thinks. That's right. It imprisons a person's heart, so therefore it dictates how he feels. Yeah. It imprisons his whole body, therefore it dictates his physical actions. That's right. And the only thing that can free his mind, body, and heart is God. God. You can't free yourself. That's right. That's right. That's why you need the power of God's word. That's it. Hmm? That's it. Huh? They shall lie That's down why the Bible them. says, how can you hear without a preacher? Yeah. How can you preach except to be, be said? I, can, I can't help myself but <laughs> preach like this. Because, hallelujah. Glory to God because I was sent to do it. That's right. And when God sent me to do it, he didn't send me to play patty cake, patty cake with you. No. He said, preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant, in season, and out of season. That's it. Reprove, rebuke, rebuke. and exalt with all long suffering. That's right. And doctrine. And doctrine. Oh, thank God. So we have to do all of it. Oh, yes. You little scared, timid preachers. <laughs> that's over social media. You have to go somewhere and sit down. Amen. Right. You are an insult to God. That's right. There ain't nothing scared and timid about God. No. God ain't never sent a coward preacher since he's been God. No, no. Not one. That's right. These men claim God sent them, and they scared to stand on all of this. <laughs> God ain't got nothing to do with them. That's right. No. Are you listening? They shall lie down a light in the dust. You're going to be a light? In the dust. Right in the dust. And the worm shall cover them. Hmm. Amen. You go dig up. That's true. Go dig up the supreme master. Mm -hmm. Of the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah. Yeah. Go dig him up. Dig him up. Dig him up. Worms shall, is all over him. Worms shall cover them. And then go dig up a dead black activist. That's right. That's right. Worms That's right. is all over him. All over him. That's right. You see how I'm so glad God have it so plain. Oh yeah. He's snatching everybody's yes. excuse away from him. That's right. All right, go back to Matthew. Everybody all right? Oh, yeah. Hear me good now. Back in Matthew 25, right now at verse 17. Follow me. And likewise, he that had received two. He that had received two he, talents. He also gained other two. He invested, gained two more. But he that had received one. Now here it is. Look at here. Come Amen. On. Amen. You always got somebody lazy. Yes. <laughs> That's right. 
sit back and whine and back. complain and yet themselves won't lift their finger yeah. to do one thing. That's right. God gave one five, God gave another two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then here we have one that have one talent. Right. But he that had received now one. Now viewers, mm -hmm. and you that are here, Amen. judge yourself. Yeah. See what category you in. That's right. Are you investing your talent and getting more in return hmm. because you're multitasking? Yeah. Are you like the one that got two but yet still working? Right. To add to that two? That's right. Or are you like the one that only have one? Had one. And let's see what the one did. But he that had received one uh -huh. went and digged in the earth. He dug in the earth. And hid his Lord's money. He buried the Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. See, besides investing the money, he, he just did he what? Did. And went and dig in the earth. He dug it. And, and he dug and buried money. it. That's right. See, the talent that is talking about was money investing it. Right. To accumulate. That's right. Liking unto working yeah. and accumulate and broaden your skill. That's right. All right? After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. The Lord. Yeah. Amen. Of those servants. Of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. Reckon with them. And so he that had received five talents. What? Came and brought other five talents. Now look at the spiritual side, viewers. Yeah. yeah. The Lord gonna come judge the world in righteousness. Oh, yes. By that man whom he hath ordained. That's right. And he's looking at the work that's being done, whether that's it's right. good or bad. That's right. Because if you invest good. Mm hmm you liable to get good in return. You reap what you sow. Right. You invest evil, yeah. evil in return. Mm. What is your investment? That's mm. right. You invest in your time in religion. Yeah. If that religion didn't come from God, you're investing evil. That's That's right. Right. If you promote that religion, you are promoting, promoting evil. evil. Get this now. And so he that had received five talents. He that had received five talents. Came and brought other five talents. Brought other five. Saying, Lord. Saying, Lord. Thou deliverest unto me five talents. You gave me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them. I, I will them. work in, Lord. That's right. That's right. Lord, I'm bringing you the fruit of my labor. That's yeah, right. Who to God. I God. have gained beside them. I didn't sit around and did nothing. No. You gave me talent. I invested. That's right. Now That's I right. got five more. That's right. Mm -hmm. His Lord said unto him, well done. What? His Lord said unto him, well done. Here was this is a parable right. representing what going to be done when you stand before God. That's right. Now when we go from there, I want the book of Corinthians that every man works going to be tried by right. fire. Right. Be it good or bad. That's right. Uh -huh. His Lord said unto him, well done. Well done. Thou good and faithful servant. Wait. You're good at good. what you've done. Uh -huh. And what else? And faithful. Loyal. That's right. Nice. Dedicated. Oh, yeah. You're not good in a sometime. Yeah. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Are you a good and faithful servant, viewer? Mm -hmm. And you that are here? Yeah. Or are you sometime good and half faithful? <laughs> because mm. you're going to stand before your Lord. Yes, you will. And he's going to call you and question God knows. That's right. All right. His Lord said unto him, well done. Thou, well done. Thou good and faithful servant. Thine good and faithful and servant. And faithful servant. Yeah. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. Do you hear this? Amen. Amen. Thou hast been faithful over a over few things. Over to God in a little bit. A I, few things. A few things. But what? I will make thee ruler, I will make you ruler over many things. I experienced that. Wonderful. When I was in the basement, I was faithful. Yes, you were. Over a few things. Over a few things. I preached to them 12 to 15 people like I have 12 or 15,000. That's true. Yes, you did. Packed. Nice day. Didn't let up. That's Traveled true. all the way to Detroit before I even had a church today. Yes. Preaching to four people. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Every month, Every on month. the plane, going to Detroit, preaching to four people. Yeah. On the plane every month, going to Champaign, Illinois, preaching to about 12 to 14 people. Yeah. On the train, Amtrak, yeah. every month, preaching to one mother, Wonderful. Mother Betty Greenhall. We held services in her church. Right. Every month for 10 years, right. nonstop for 10 years. Yeah. I didn't have a car at the time. 
got on Amtrak. Glory to God. Every month. Every month. Preaching to one mother. Yeah. Because the Holy Ghost said. His Lord said unto him, well done. Well done. Thou good. Thine good. And faithful servant. I believe that. Oh, yes. You got to be good and you got to be faithful. That's right. What did he say? Thou hast been faithful over a few things. You've been dedicated Amen. with just a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. He did that for us now. Oh, yes. We rule over many now. Over many. Thousands now. That's, that's right. But we were consistent. Oh, yeah. Just as dedicated now as we were then. That's, that's right. If not more so. Wonderful. That's right. Eh? That's right. Traveled for hours. Yeah. Maybe two or three people in the building. Oh, yeah. Williams reading like the place was packed. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Dress rehearsal was before God delivered me out of falsehood. Wonderful. Because yeah. after everybody left and everything blew up, yeah. Oh, yeah. the only one was left in the building was Williams and my wife, Sister Jennings at the time. Well, she Wonderful. wasn't Jennings, then she was Sister Gaiman. Oh, yeah. She had an usher uniform, ushering nobody. Nice. <laughs> That's right. He was sitting out there and once in a while. My father had a heart attack and that put him out of commission and he ain't wanting to be bothered with that foolishness no more. And my mm -hmm. mother was giving him support. And my mother would once in a while stop in and say, Gene, when you leave? And I said, I can't do nothing until the Holy Ghost tells me when. That's right. My father said, Gene, when you leave? And I said, I can't do nothing until the Holy Ghost tells me when. Wonderful. My wife was asking me at the time, well, she wasn't my wife, yes, she was just a gay man. <laughs> and she said, Gino, when we leaving? I said, girl, I don't know after waiting to what the Holy Ghost said. That's she right. said, what about this work God showed you? I said, he did show me, but he never told me when and never told me where. Yeah. And I'm not going to budge until I hear from heaven. That's Wonderful. right. Wonderful. And why? Because I didn't want to be like so many others. God out there freelancing on their own saying God told them to do something and God didn't tell them to do nothing, nothing. and you can look at that work that shows That's right. God oh, yeah. never spoke to them. That's right. I wasn't going to be one of them. Oh, oh yeah. I made up my mind I'm going to stand still. <laughs> That's right. And see did. the salvation of God. That's right. Amen. That's right. Made up oh, in yeah. my mind. That's right. I'm not moving. Oh yes. So it was dress rehearsal. Oh, yes. Every time it was time for service, I was still there. Yes, you were. Preaching. Wins was right there. That's reading. right. Wonderful. In fact, me and Wins would come to church together sometimes. Oh, yeah. My wife, she would walk from where she lived at. Yeah. Come just in, just switching. <laughs> That's right. Got on her usher uniform. That's right. Amen. That's right. She said, ah, how long are we going to do this, Gino? I said to her, God see otherwise. Right. She said, Okay. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. Amen. But my God, man, she stuck right there yes, all did. the way up to yes! now. And William oh, stuck yes! there also. Hallelujah. We watched this thing materialize. Watched it. That's right. I told my mother about the vision. Hallelujah. She couldn't understand it. She thought the devil was in it. <laughs> she, she rose up. She didn't know no better. She rose up and the Bible planted her heels down heavy. Amen. Eh? Amen. Some of my blood brothers rose up, but if it wasn't for long, they understood. Yeah. Some of my blood sisters rose up. They understood. Oh, yeah. Amen. But uh, they couldn't see it. Right. That's all right. They couldn't see it because God didn't show it to them. No. Just like when Saul was on the road to Damascus, those that heard, listen, the Bible says, Paul said, I heard the voice. Yeah. And those that was with me didn't hear the voice. the voice. Then another scripture said that I heard the voice and those that were with me did hear it. Did hear it. Well, which is it, Pastor Jennings? Did they hear it or they didn't hear it? It's both. Both. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. It's both. Glory to God. That's right. Well, how is it that they heard it? They heard the sound. That's right. What is it that they didn't hear? They didn't hear the message because it wasn't to them. That's right. God said, I appeared unto thee. Talk to Paul. Yes. I appeared unto thee to make thee a minister. That's right. That message wasn't to them. That's right. It was to Paul. Amen. All they heard was sound. Yeah. Like when Jesus was praying at one time and the spirit of God answered them, answered him, but those was around didn't hear the answer that came from heaven to the flesh. All they heard was the sound of thunder. Sound of thunder. Eh? That's right. Amen. So they couldn't get the wording or the language of the thunder, but they heard the noise. Heard the noise. Yes. But the message wasn't to the crowd. That's right. It was to the Son of Man. That's right. The message wasn't to all the other fellas. That's right. Or it's that God was to Brother Paul. Amen. The message wasn't to the rest of them, yeah. but it was, it was to me. That's right. And it came to me clear. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. 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 
It came clear. Yes, it did. Come on, say, I don't believe it. I really don't care at all. I don't care either, Pastor. I'm in it now. We're, we're in it now. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm in it now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. I say, I'm in it now, brother. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. And there's not a prophet or a prophecy that can come now. If you come along with a prophecy now, oh, that work going forward and never do this and never that. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. This thing was shown to me before you come along. That's right. All your prophecies fall. That's right. All your prophecies will fail because you are debunking what heaven have already said. That's right. That's why I'm not moved. Glory to God. I'm not moved at all. At all. I mean absolutely at all. That's right. What did he say, sir? His Lord said unto him, well done. Then the Lord said unto him, well done. Thou good and faithful Thy servant. Thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful you over a few things. You have been over a few things. I will make thee ruler make over you many ruler things. ruler over a whole lot. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. You see the parable? Uh -huh. That's representing if you do what God say do, oh yes, enter thou into the joy of into thy the Lord. Joy. That represents us coming into the kingdom of God, sure. being accepted by God, that he may accept us in eternity. That's right. That's right. That's what that represents. Amen. And it will be the joy of the Lord. Oh, yes. Be with God throughout eternity. Hallelujah. No more crying, no more pain. No Hallelujah! Glory to God. No more frustration. I won't have to preach to nobody no more. That's right. Because it'll be the day of the Lord that's coming. That's right. The acceptable year of the Lord. No more baptizing. No more baptizing. Uh -uh, not at all. No, sir. Oh, no. What did he say, son? Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Come on! Amen. Yeah. We will take God to the joy of the Lord. He also that had received two talents. He that had two talents. Came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two Lord, talents. Lord, you gave me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. I invested them. that now in two more talents. Talents I gained, which give me four now. His Lord said unto him, well done, good and faithful You've done well. Now you, didn't, you didn't have as much as the one with the five, right. but at least you still was faithful with what I gave you. That's right. Uh -huh. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. You've been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. I will make you ruler over many. Enter thou into the joy you of thy Lord. come on also. Uh -huh. Then he which had then received the one town. Here you have the one that got one talent. Look at here. That's right. Then he which had received the one talent what is it? came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man. Do you hear that? Amen. Come on, Amen. I know you're a hard man. What you mean? I know you're tough. That's right. You don't tolerate half-handedness. That's right. You don't tolerate foolishness. That's yeah. right. What you say, that's it. That's oh, it. Yes. Folk don't like no man like that. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man. Yes. Reaping where thou hast not sown. What? Reaping, Reaping where thou hast not sown. Where well, you have not sown, you still gain ground. That's right. Uh -huh. And gathering you where, gather it where thou hast not straw. Where well, you have not straw. And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. In other words, I was hard hit. Yeah. You see, when God gives you a job to do, he expects for you to do it. That's right. Yeah. That's, right. That's why I'm dedicated to what I'm doing That's by right. God's permission. Oh, yes. Amen. I'm tired and exhausted and don't feel like going, but at the same time, yeah. it's a drive, hallelujah, that he put in there. That's right. Keeps me pushing. Oh, yes. Sometimes my wife look at me and she say, what's wrong with you? I say, I'm exhausted. Every part of me, mm. my mind, my body, my heart, my spirit, everything about yeah. me Amen. is exhausted. Yeah. And yet I, I, I keep going. Keep That's going. Right. Because God keep me going. That's right. Because I love seeing the results of God and the progress of God. That's right. That's why I'm always pulling on heaven to help me. Yeah. While my enemies is praying that I would die early. That's right. My enemies want me to die early. Yeah. Because we're like a, a thick thorn in the hide of the heathen. <laughs> That's right. That's true. That's true. A thick thorn. Amen. And the hide of heathen. That's right. They want to silence this thing so bad. Oh, yeah. That's why you got false prophets, just, just all type of program, begging the people, please leave that, leave Pastor Jenner. My Lord. Leave them. My Lord. They with the Lord. Mm. Tell them, why would you tell them to leave Pastor Jenner? I'm, I'm not the Lord. The That's Lord brought him here. That's right. Word brought me here. The word. <laughs> 
Amen. Like that brother, I can't think of the brother name, but he always sang that song. Oh, yeah. I think he's from the Baltimore Temple. Baltimore. He always sang, he said, the word <laughs> brought me right, here. That's right. The word that's brought right. me here. He, he pitched it up and bring it down. The okay. word <laughs> brought me here. <laughs> Amen. Well, when he stand up, I, I, when he stand up, sometimes I nudge Williams. Before he start, I hit William. Did the word bring you here? Because I know what's coming. No when he stand coming. up, he closes his eyes and look up. The word. That's right. It brought him here. That's right. Yeah. Amen. It brought him here. Oh, yeah. That's what bring you here. This, 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 this is a tough message. Oh, yes. This message is for men and women that want to be real men That's and right. will That's women right. of God. That's what this message is for. Wonderful. It don't mean you're going to change all your ways overnight. No. That ain't going to happen. No. But you got to start somewhere. That's right. That's right. You already out there in the world acting like a fool. You can't afford to follow some weak, cheap, sugar, watered down preacher. Oh, no. Imagine no. you don't know how to hold your hands and you go to the gym. <laughs> the body bag is to build up your, you know, your punching Ability, build up your strength. Yeah. Speed bag is just that, build up your speed. Yeah. But your trainer teach you how to combine both. That's right. Speed and power. Wonderful. Yeah. Imagine if you had a trainer send you to the bag, and when you go to the bag, the trainer say, now this is how you punch it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. And then look at it and just say, see? see? No. <laughs> oh, no. Not that. No, no. When we body boxed in the hood, we stood toe to toe. That's right. Come here, Logan. <laughs> Stand right here now. When we was in the hood, we would stand toe to toe, put them toes together. That's right. We, we, That's we, right. We, we, right. we wasn't like this. <laughs> Whoa! Right. Come on! That's That's right. Right. Come on. <laughs> we didn't do that. No. I mean, we put our hip and ribs into each other. That's right. You can have both men grunting. Mm, mm, mm. They was grunting. We dished it out and took it. That's right. You folks go to these churches. Let the church say amen. That's what they do. Say hallelujah. No. Touch the neighbor next to you. Oh, no. Say neighbor, happy days are here again. Yes. <laughs> You've been around that weak trash so long. Oh, yeah. I often liken false churches to a child who's been raised a spoiled, spoiled rotten brat. brat. That's right. And you take that spoiled, mischievous child yeah. and put him among elders. Oh, yes. Who tell him or her, no, you can't get that. Wash your hands. Yeah. Make your bed. Yeah. Eat all that food. <laughs> Don't move from the table till the plate is clean. That's right. That child ain't used to that discipline. No. That child started looking. That's right, Oh, well, yeah. Right. <laughs> That's true. It looked confused because yeah. it's not used to instruction. Yeah. No. That's exactly where you are, little watching viewers. That's right. You're not used to Bible instructions. No. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Amen. You're not used to that. Not used to it. You want to be like they were in the days of a man named Nimrod. Yeah. In the days of Nimrod, God suffered all people to go after their own, their own way. way. They done whatever they wanted to do. And right. There was no specific law to govern those people in the days of Nimrod. That's right. They all got together to build a tower to try to reach heaven reach and God heaven. scattered their language. Yeah. Yeah. But there was no specific law or order that they had to follow. That's right. You too late now. Oh yes. You don't want to do that now, you should have came in Nimrod's came day. In Nimrod's day. <laughs> you, you absolutely too late now. That's right. There's an order here. Oh yes. And this is why many of you, I have many folks write me, can't you give me your opinion about something? Why you got to go to the Bible? Because the Bible is the best mind. That's right. God's mind is better than my mind. Oh yes. Oh yes. Like sometime uh, brothers will ask me, <laughs> Pastor Jennings, uh, 
Is there anything wrong with listening to jazz? And I would ask him, who are you asking, Pastor Jennings or Gino? <laughs> See, I would ask, who are you asking? You asking Pastor Jennings? Or are you asking Gino? If you ask Gino and don't get the Bible involved, I will tell you jazz on. Oh, yes. Jazz all you can. That's right. But if you ask Pastor Jennings, I got to get the Bible involved and say, love not the love world. Love not the world. And that's going to make me harpoon myself. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yes. So I always got to point you to the Bible. That's right. Because the Bible is against me just as much as it is against you. That's right. All right, son, what you have? Matthew 25, now we're at verse 24. Real quick. Then he which had received the one talent came. Yes. And said, Lord, I know thee that thou art an hard man. I know you're a hard man. Reaping where thou hast not sown, mm -hmm. and gathering where thou hast not straw. Yes. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Mm -hmm. And lo, there thou hast that is thine. Yes. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slowful servant. Wait a minute. Amen. He took yeah. the talent, mm -hmm. didn't invest it. In other words, he didn't work with it. That's right. He didn't do nothing. <clears throat> Just buried it. That's right. So what did God call him? What did it, Jesus call him? His Lord answered and his said. Lord, his Lord answered and said. Thou wicked and Yo, wait. You wicked. love the devil? Thou wicked and slowful servant. And you're servant. lazy. That's yeah. right. Both of them. When you're not willing to work mm -hmm. for God, yeah. you're wicked, wicked and you're lazy. And, slow. and you might as well shut your mouth about anybody else who's willing to work for God. That's right. Well, I don't think they're working. No, 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 no. Your opinion don't mean nothing. <laughs> no. No. You got to see what you're doing. That's right. Do you hear this? His Lord answered and said unto him. I don't him, want God to say this to me. Thou wicked. So you can be looking at other people so much and they become a distraction. And yet they occupy you so much. The Lord come find you not doing nothing. That's right. Do you hear this? His Lord answered and said unto him, thou wicked. You're wicked. And slowful servant. And you're a lazy servant. Thou knewest that I reap where you I sow knew not. I reap where I sow not. And gather where I have not strawed. And then what? Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchange. You ought to put my money to the exchange. And then at my coming, I should have. When I come. Then at my coming, I should have received mine own with you. That represent this. Amen. You ought Amen. to put to work what God put in your hand. That's yeah. right. That's so right. when he comes. That's right. He can see what has been accumulated That's right. by the work of your hands that he gave you to do. That's right. That's right. Not just sit around and go Sarah. from false church to false church to my fellowship service. No. Fellowship with Mo, fellowship with Larry, fellowship with Barney, fellowship with all these fellas. Amen. That's right. Fellowship with Daffy Duck, Porgy Pig, Alfalfa, Amen. Felix the Cat. Amen. Betty Boo. That's right. Huh? That's right. Fellowship with He-Man and G.I. Joe and all these fellas. Amen. Fellowship with a bunch of cartoons. Yeah. Everybody come believing different. Everybody leave believing leave different. Believe. That's not fellowship. No. Give me first epistle of John, John chapter 1 and verse 7. First John the chapter Bible 1 and verse 7. what fellowship is. But if we walk in the light. If we walk in truth. As he is in the light. As God is truth. We have fellowship. What kind? One with another. But and to have that fellowship, you got to do what? If we walk in the light. As he is in the light. That means don't deviate from what Jesus said. That's it. Don't deviate from it. Stay right there. Stay, that's right. Huh? That's right. Stay right there. So to all of my viewers that's throughout Europe, God willing, I hope to see you. Amen. You that is in Italy and Germany and throughout London and the Netherlands and Amsterdam and Scotland and Ireland and Holland and thank God. You come on now. Uh -huh. All you preachers, leave your church. Amen. Leave it. Amen. Leave your robe or burn it up. That's right. Take your license and throw it on the log That's with right. fire. That's right. Ain't no license make you a preacher. It takes God to do that. Amen. No more than some folk get a license and you wonder how they got a license and they behind the wheel driving. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, pass. Amen. Pass. I'm going to show my license pass. Amen. I got it in my wallet. That's all right. You got your wallet. <laughs> You got it in light of women preachers got license too. <laughs> you want to come back now? Pass. You want to come back? That was low pass. Ah, stop getting <laughs> 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 Already gone. <laughs>
What did he say? The honest therefore to have put my Logan money. Logan told me to leave you alone. He, he, <laughs> he told me to leave you alone. <laughs> All right, we'll leave him alone for now, but we'll probably get him this evening. All right, let's have it. The honest therefore to have put my money to the exchanger. Now I want to tell all of my viewers, whatever Amen. God gave you, God wants you to put it to the exchangers. In other That's words, right. God wants you to invest whatever skill, talent you have. Yeah. That it may be a return on it. That's right. That you're not the only one with it. In other words, you're not selfish with what God gave you. That's right. right. That's but right. distribution is made to others, to others so others can benefit from what God gave you. That's right. How can you be a help to anybody other than yourself unless you go and work? Oh, yeah. That's why I believe in work. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for giving us a vision and giving us a charge. Oh, yes. Not just to go in the city. That's right. But go in all the world. Oh, all yeah. the world. Preach the gospel to every creature. That's right. And having that written, with God's help, we have been obedient to that. Yeah. That's true. And we're still being obedient to it. Oh, yes. And we have and we are seeing oh, yes. the results of it. By the thousands. You know, I, it's something to look at where this thing came from. That's right. And see where it is now. That's right. I read quick so I can knock off webs. Thou art therefore to have put my money to the exchangers. Yes. And then at my coming, I should have received mine own with usury. At my coming, I should what? I should have received I mine should own. I should have received my own. With usury. With usury. Take therefore the talent. Take therefore the talent. From him. Wait a minute, the one that buried it, strip him. That's right. That's right. Yes. Strip him, take it away from him. Take therefore the talent from him. You got to have a vision to make that talent accumulate. Yeah. If you don't have no vision, you can't oh, make it uh, accumulate. And you can't break law to expand it. That's right. You got to keep it within the confines of the book. That's right. Eh? Take therefore the talent from him. You can't bargain or compromise. No. I don't have so many churches offered to us, organization offered to us with strings attached. Yeah. And it always was if I would just change something that we stand for oh, in the no. Bible. And I tell all of them, keep your church. That's God right. has made us a builder. I don't That's need your right. old bricks and mortar. That's right. We won't bend the size of a hair on a gnat's left ankle. Amen. The hair on his left ankle. Amen. We won't bend that much at all. At all. To gain a member. Yeah. Glory to God or to keep a member. That's right. Amen. I don't want to go to hell. It's hot enough today. Yes. That's true. It's hot enough today. Oh, That's yeah. True. At least you can turn the air conditioning and get yeah. relief. Yeah. No relief in hell. No. Absolutely none. No. Huh? All right. Take therefore the talent from him. Yes. And give it unto him which has ten talents. Take it. Take it. The one that had five and then he worked and got ten, he proven he can handle a lot. That's right. And God look at here's the Lord look at the one that had one and didn't do anything. Take it from him and give it to the one now who got ten. Now he'll have eleven. That's right. Why? I, I, I can depend on him working. Working. He appreciate what I put in his hands. Yeah. You know, when you appreciate what God mm -hmm. done for you, you are, he don't give you something to sit down on it and do nothing. That's right. They give you something to work at it. Work at it. Amen. You viewers out there, many of you R&B singers, many of you that's making albums and recordings and doing concerts, uh -huh. yeah. many of you came out of some kind of church. Yeah. But you got sick of church. Yeah. Hmm. You wouldn't make no money from it. That's, it. that's right. So for money, for the sake of money, you made an agreement, a bargain with death. Yeah. Bible says it this way in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 15. Let's read it for them. Isaiah 28 and verse 15. That's what? Because ye have said we have made ye a have covenant said with death. We have death. made a covenant with death. And with hell. And with hell. Are we at agreement? We have made a pact with hell. That's right. What is it? When the overflowing score shall pass through. When destruction comes, this is the way you think. It shall not come unto us. You think it won't happen to you. For we have made lies we our refuge. We have hid ourselves under lies. And under falsehood. And under hypocrisy. Have we hid ourselves. Hmm. Many of you watching now, movie stars and actors and actresses, you came out of some church. Yeah. And you know what you say? Oh, it was too strict. 
I got tired of wearing, I ain't want no one to tell me I, I shouldn't show my breasts and cleavage right. and thighs. If I want a man to see my body, that I feel as though uh, that should be my decision. No, that's the decision that God put that on God you. God put on you. God said, I made you for my, my glory. glory. That's right. That's right. God didn't make us the glory in ourselves. No. That's why the scriptures is here. Book of rules. Oh, yeah. Book of bylaws. Amen. That's why you go to these churches that have these religious antics. <laughs> and you walk around claiming you're a Christian and you're nothing but a Bible-toting sinner with a cross around your neck That's and right. a pack of cigarettes in your car and a 38 in your glove compartment and a beer in your house. That's right. That's right. Amen. Get me? Yeah. Amen. 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 That's all you are. Just church going center. That's, That's it. all. Sinners. Many of you recording artists, you're just as homosexual as a winged foot mouse. Yes. <laughs> yes. A mouse that's winged foot. <laughs> homosexual, singing about Jesus. Singing about Jesus. With a, 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 and, and got a boyfriend. That's yes. right. That's yes. right. Preachers now claim they're Christians, don't have the first lady. <laughs> Some of these preachers now got what they call the first man. First no. man. Yeah, they got the first man now. No! Not the first lady, the first man. My Lord, what a fool. And you people out there say something wrong with me, I'm homophobic. If I'm homophobic, Abraham is homophobic. That's right. If I'm homophobic, Lot was homophobic. Yeah. That's right, come on, Jay. I push it further than that. If I'm homophobic, God himself God must be homophobic. Himself. That's right. Come on, Jay. All I'm doing is preaching yeah. what he said. That's right. He said the woman was made for the man. For the man. Oh, yes. If it don't fit, you got to quit. That's right. Eh? That's right. If it don't fit, you got to acquit. Quit. That's right. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 Woman made for the man. God. That's right. Amen. I married a woman, perfect fit. Perfect fit. Eh? Yeah? Perfect fit. That's right. I ain't got to try to find a combination. No, 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 no. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. I ain't got to find the key. I am the key. That's right. Perfect fit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Amen. Do you get what I'm telling? That's right. The Holy Ghost said. Thou art therefore to have put my money to the exchanges. Whatever talent God gave you, viewers, God wants you to use it. Yeah. Be for him, for him, because the one that gave you the talent is gonna come back and investigate. That's true. That's right. That's you just, true. you just can't have the talent and sit back and do nothing. No. You now singing for the devil. Oh yes. Yeah. You want the devil money and religious people money. Yeah. 
So you make what is called, I believe, secular music. That's mm -hmm. down the middle. Yeah. Right. That way it can be played in clubs and church. That's right. And the church can dance to it, and the church's dances are the same as the club dances. <laughs> same thing. Yep, same right. thing. Until they rent out the church fellowship hall. Who? A rap artist. Yep. Yeah. Christian comedy club and all that trash. Amen. That's why the sinner don't respect you heathens. Amen. You are some of the most cigarette sucking, joint taking, heroin shooting up, crack <laughs> snorking, beer guzzling, Jack Daniel on, shaking your hips, skin Come tight, on. low riding dream, fake hair, fake eyelashes, all these fake rhinestone nails, Christians that's on the planet Earth. That's right. You're not a new creature. No. You're nothing but a Bible carrying center. That's it. That's it. Still in your pocketbook is some joint. Yeah. 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 And your wallet is a lottery ticket. Oh, yes. That's right. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Back in your house, you open your cedar closet, all them different color wigs. Yeah. When the preacher go home, he take off his suit and put on his dress and drive around to see who can pick him up at night. My Lord, my Lord. Your pastor, your daddy is a cross dresser. Yeah. Am I right? That's right. Your own daddy, your own husband, a cross dresser. That's right. Cross dressing Christians. Amen. Ponytail wearing men, Christians. Yes, Christians. That's why you love these Winnie the Pooh churches. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh churches. Everything just easy. Easy. Yeah. Play church. That's right. Spoil. That's right. Bible said, when thou art spoil, what shall you what do? What will thou do? All right, Williams, go back and finish up Matthew so we can knock off. Back in Matthew 25 and verse 27. God going to come for you, viewers. Oh, yes. Your Lord is coming. Yeah. yeah. You're either going to be in one of these three categories. That's right. The five, the two, the one. Or the one. Amen. Now see which one you're in. That's right. See your talent that you have, how you're investing it. Mm -hmm. Who's benefiting from it? Yeah. Are sinners benefiting from your music? Mm. They dance from it now? Mm. Slow drag, bumping and grinding? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Is your music played out in the streets and the whole neighborhood is just jumping? Come on, Jake. Cussing, Come on. shooting up in the air? Mm. Do your music make someone want to smoke? My Lord. There ain't no so-called gospel songs oh, you'll put a man or woman in the mood to have sex. In the mood. No way. No, 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 no. That's out of hell. That's right. That's out of hell. That's right. I believe it was a song made by the whinings. Something about uh, falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. There ain't no Bible talk about oh, falling no. in love with Jesus. Oh, no. They sang about Jesus like he's just some hood. Some, some fella just strolled around out of Nazareth. He just <laughs> strolled right. out of Nazareth. Hey, Jesus, where are you from? Nazareth. No. <laughs> That's right. I'm a Nazareth man. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You people that claim you're Christians, yeah. you want the world in one hand. Yeah. You don't want to give it up. No. That's why you go to churches that I tell you, it don't take all that. Yeah. You don't have to give it up. Yeah. Give no it man can up. serve two masters. No man can do what? No man in Matthew 6 and verse 24. Yeah. After that, give me the first epistle of John. Yes. No man can serve two masters. What you going to do with it? Amen. What well, you going to do with it? For either he will hate the one. Or you going to hate one. And love the other. Or, and what else? Or else he or, will hold to the one. You going to hold the one. And despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Glory to God. Amen. That's why you don't want to give it up. No. Hmm? You don't want to give up that girlfriend. You can't accept the fact you can't walk with God and live together and not marry. That's right. You can't accept it. You don't want it. Don't want it. Don't want it. Her body's too good to you. That's right. Hmm? That's right. So you put her body over God. Over. You put her body over Bible. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You put her body over Bible. That's right. We're telling you to put Bible over body. That's right. You don't want that. No. 
Glory to God. God. You don't want that. That's why people no, know this preaching is not like nothing under the no. sun. Oh, no. It's that old-fashioned holiness. That's right. That the devil wants to get rid of, but he'll never be able. That's right. You don't want to give it up. No. No. You want to still claim you some Christian in the church, you men, with these old skin-tight pants looking like you got an extra layer of skin. Here you only 110 pounds and your seams of your pants is stressed. <laughs> what? Come on. What? How much stress can you put on the seam of your pants and you skinny? skinny. You already skinny. That's right. There shouldn't be no stress on your pants. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Get me. First John chapter 2 and verse 15. Holy Ghost said. Love not the world. Neither the thing. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Amen. Amen. There got to be a difference. There's got oh, to be yeah. a difference. You cigarette sucking Christians out here, pipe blowing Christians, <laughs> tobacco chewing oh, Christians. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. When young people get together and go out among themselves, that's preaching, all right. Preaching, bro. But you better not have nothing going on that bring a reproach against God or the church. That's yeah. right. I mean it. That's, that's right. right. Amen. 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 Do you hear this? Love not the world. What? Neither the things that are in the world. Now hold it. There are things that are in the world that's not for God's people. Amen. And there are things that are in the world that's for the usage of God's people. That's right. I got to get both. Give me Corinthians. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Keep in mind, the apostle John said, love not the world. Love not the world. Now I got to get Bible that justify me loving the world, mm -hmm. but I can't love those things that God is against. That's I it. I got to harmonize both. Give chapter and verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, we'll start at verse 31. Follow me. And they that use this world. Oh. Amen. They that use this word. As not abusing it. But don't abuse it. For that the, means don't use the things here wrongfully. That's right. Uh -huh. For the fashion of this world passeth fashion away. The fashion of this world will pass away. At verse 33. And what? But he that is married. He that is married. Careth for the things that are of the world. For the things that is of the world. How he may please his wife. And yet John says what? Love not the world. What did Paul say? He that is married careth for the things that are of the world. For what? For what? How he may please his wife. And what else? There is also a difference between a wife and a virgin. Yes. The unmarried woman cared for the things of the Lord. Yeah, the unmarried woman. Well, he didn't say all of them. <laughs> That's right. He never said all of them. No, he didn't say all Some of them. Some folk is unmarried and they ain't think about the Lord. <laughs> That's right. That let you know the unmarried woman, she, she can give more time. That's right. To the Lord, because she ain't got no husband and all that to worry about. That's right. Huh? The unmarried woman cared for the things of the Lord. Yeah. That she may be a holy that she may what? Oh, yes. That she may be holy. Oh, yes. Both in. No, wait, wait, wait. That she may be flirtatious. That she may be holy. Amen. That she may get in every man's pocket. That she may be holy. Come that she on, may man. use all the men she could for his money. That she may be holy. Mm. That she may try to get every man to pay her bills. That she may be holy. Amen. Come on. Go ahead, man. Nice. Amen. We don't only step on your toes. We just cut the whole leg off. Oh, that's right. Never mind stepping on your toes. Just cut your whole leg off. <laughs> cut it off. Cut it off. Bleed out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Will. The unmarried woman cares for the things of the Lord. Yes. That she may be holy. Uh -huh. Both in body. Wait. Mm. What did he say? Be that, holy what? Both in body. That means you're not giving your body to nobody That's but right. the Lord. That's right. So no boyfriend can have you. Mm. No kissing. No hugging. No smooching. No ooching. No cooching. What? That she may be holy. No grinding. That's right. Can't even grind on her. That's right. Said, Why would he say something like that? You better give me that. Is it the Wisdom of Solomon or the Song of Solomon or the Book of Job? Which Job, is, I believe it's Job. Book of Job. Let's, let's get that real fast. Yeah. Amen. Don't take too long because my clock is ticking. Amen. Come on, son. What you have? Job chapter 31. Be fast. And we're at verse 10. All right. Then let my wife. Then let my wife. Grind unto another and let others bow down upon her. That's, that was the Bible, Pastor. Come on, Jay. Come on. You ain't married. You ain't got no business grinding unless you're grinding at the mill. <laughs> That's right. 
Make some cornmeal or something. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. So I say, you see, in that man's church, you can't do nothing. It ain't my church. That's right. Ain't my church. I wouldn't write this. No way. Not me. No. <laughs> I wouldn't write this at all. I wouldn't care if you grind on a pew. But <laughs> oh, I care. I wouldn't pay you no mind. I'll walk right by you while you're busy. I'll walk right by you. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I wouldn't even look at you. Wouldn't pay you no mind. Hallelujah. I have to... <laughs> I have to preach it because it's written. Then let my wife grind unto another. Yeah. And let others bow down upon her. All right, let's go back to where we were. Back in 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 34. Get me now. The unmarried woman cared for the things of the Lord. Yes. That she may be holy both in body. Wait a minute. You ain't married. What did God, how do God want her to be? That she may be holy both in body. On that passage, it's hard. All right, I believe it. it's hard. It's hard. But I'm just, my job is to preach it. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I, my job is to tell you. Oh, yes. When that mailman give you that student loan bill, <laughs> hey, man, that's about a $62,000. It's right. hard to pay that thing down. Yes, it is. You can tell that mailman, it's hard to pay that. It's hard. <laughs> that's right. He said, he going to look at you and say, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am, I... I just delivered the mail. That's it. That's it. Right. Yeah, when he leave, have a nice day. Oh, yeah. I'm your mailman. That's right. Yeah. William got my mail back. Oh, Full of letters. Full of letters. Here, we're going to read one letter. The unmarried. Right. First... Open, the, open the letter up now. Open it up. Okay, I'm going to open it to 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Yes, open the envelope. What is that? And I'm at verse 34. Read the contents of the letter. The unmarried woman cared for the things of the, the Lord. The unmarried woman cared for the God thing. That yeah. she may be holy. So she can be holy. Holy. Both in body and in spirit. That was one of the letters. If, if, if her body is holy, no man touch her. That's right. You ain't married if your body is holy. Holy. Ain't no man handling you. No. If your body That's right. is holy. It's holy. Ain't no man holding you. Yeah. yeah. Why? Your body. That's right. That she may be holy. Both in body. Both in body. And in spirit. All right, now you can be holy in body, but not spirit. That's mm -hmm. true. The only reason why you're holy in body, because no man wants you. Right. <laughs> oh, that's right. You ain't got no. That's right. You ain't got. You ain't got no choice. Come on, You ain't got no choice but to be by yourself. Oh, that's right. <laughs> man. Man, see you come. Oh, Lord, no. <laughs> but yet, your Amen. spirit is unholy because your spirit is corrupt because you got that lust of what you want to do. That's right. So it corrupts your spirit. Yeah. I want to balance it out. <laughs> Amen. Good job. Come Good on, job. Will. But she that is married. She that is married. Cares for the things of the world. Oh, yes. How she may please her husband. Oh, yes. Care for the things of the world. So right. my wife. Care for things of the world to please me. I have to care for things of the world to please her. But yes, in the sir. both, in the midst of that caring, I or she or you cannot care for anything for husband and wife that's against God. That's it. That's right. Amen. Get what I'm telling you now. Back in First John two and verse fifteen. Otherwise, Ooh. in that you know, you brothers that are married, and you sisters, you sisters that are married, you young, you got a husband and whatnot. There's no sin for you to. If you want to see you in a negligee right. and all of that, yeah, man, you ain't got to be around your husband all the time and no wool flannel gown all the way down to your knees like you some Quaker or, me or, or media night. That's right. Amen. 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 You, ain't, you ain't going to church every day. That's right. <laughs> Amen. My wife know. I ain't, I ain't got to keep preaching that. My <laughs> wife know you You better not come in this bed come on. dressed like you're getting ready for a convention. <laughs> not here. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. right. I'm anointed up here. I don't need no anointing in bed. <laughs> I don't need no anointing in bed no, at all. At all. A lot of y'all go overboard with this. That's right. And this is what break up a lot of marriages. That's right. There's a time and a season for everything, everything under the sun. That's right. When you overzealous and you overrighteous, 
Hey, you are a young woman and young man only in your teens or 20s mm. and 30s. And here you are going on your honeymoon, just got married on Saturday. You took a flight going maybe to Florida or Hawaii somewhere. And he's in there, got all cleaned up, got his new wife putting on hey, his aftershave. Come on out. He jump on the bed on the couch, sitting there. Ah. <laughs> Waiting for this day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She's taking long to come out. He's out there. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Next thing you know, she come out. He come out, come on, Jay. looking stern. Stern. <laughs> come on. Come on. Looking like she Esther. <laughs> Just looking. Oh no! No! And he's That's like, wait, 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 wait what's, what's going on? What's, yeah. what's going on? Oh no! We gon' we gon' pray before you touch this. I can't hear that. <laughs> I can't hear we gonna pray. <laughs> no way. Now you bend over Zellius. Head covered. Stand all the way down to your wrist. Lord. Don't even have a crew neck on. A collar that come up. What? <laughs> My Lord. Like colonial days. My oh, Lord. Oh, no. The Amen. reason why a lot of folk do this is because they ain't got no teaching. You ain't got no teaching. That's right. That's right. But Pastor Jennings, how is it that my wife, my husband can tell me he don't want to see me with that stuff on? I don't think that's right. Hmm. Seventh chapter, First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 4. Let's see what the Bible says. First Corinthians 7 and verse 4. Yeah, man. The wife hath, the not, wife hath not power. Don't have power. Of her own body. Of her own body. But. But the husband, her husband, and likewise, and likewise, also the husband, the husband hath not power, don't have power of his own of body, of his own body. But, but the wife, the wife. That's it. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's right. And she want to see him dressed like Tarzan, <laughs> and he want to see her dressed like Jane. That's right. That's true. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Truth of it. And this is why some marriages don't work. You're so over righteous. Yeah. He want to be romantic with his wife. Now, 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 now. And then you tell your husband, go get it from somebody else. What? Let me tell you something, woman. You cannot never tell your man that. No, no. Right. Because what you won't do, somebody out there will. That's right. Don't send your man to no other woman. Are you a fool? Amen. On, Get it from somebody else. Then if you do, don't bring him to me. That's right. Right. That's right. Because if you build it, they will come. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Yeah. Amen. 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 So if your husband wanted to see you in negligees and whatnot with matching pumps and Wonderful. They have lace gloves with your fingers out. That's right. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Want to see you come in and stand at the door like you Mae West? <laughs> come on, Jay. Come up and see me sometime. <laughs> yes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, wrong with no. that. Oh, no. Amen. There ain't no time to look at your husband. You know the devil's in you. I'm, you need to pray. You need to fast. You got the mind of the world. <laughs> Come on. That's true. He ain't marrying you to have prayer. He can single be, and be prayerful. That's, That's right. right. You done took holiness too far until you made a nutcase out of yourself. True. That's what'll happen. That's true. The Bible speaks plain. The wife has not power of her own body but the husband. Do you hear that? Yeah. In 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 4. And likewise, also, the husband has not power because of his own body. you're trying to be saved when you got a husband and a wife. That don't mean you cannot be with each other. That's no. Right. 
the only way you can be with each other is only in prayer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no is right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bible says in all thine getting, get an understanding. Get an understanding. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. My wife come in my room like that, she's joking me. You know, she's joking. Being, right off the bat, she's joking. You're being pranked, Pastor. Yeah, she's, I'm being, being pranked. pranked. Uh, yes, I'm being pranked. I'm being pranked. Right. God knows. That's right. And I'm going to prank her back when I get them scissors and cut them things off. That's right. <laughs> cut her right out of them. Oh, yes. Do you know what you're doing? Uh, you shouldn't have came in here. That's right. <laughs> Wonderful. There you go. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm trying to save a lot of y'all's marriages. Yeah. You done took the Bible and went overboard. went overboard. You fell over and hit your head on a can of zeal. <laughs> so zealous you made a fool out yourself. That's right. You run your husband out the house and run your wife out the house. Yeah. That's right. And because you got a wife, that doesn't mean you got to talk about the Bible 24 hours a day. No. My mind has stayed on Jesus. Your mind ain't stayed on him all the time. Stop telling that lie. <laughs> That's right. Anytime you're a working man, your mind ain't on Jesus 24 hours a day. No, no way. You got children, your mind ain't on Jesus 24 hours a day. No. Your mind on the Lord when you chastising them no. or helping them with homework, That's if true. you do it. That's true. If you do it. See what your talent you have. Are That's you right. investing it? That's right. What is your return? Amen. Give me Acts 2 38. Close us out. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right. You Amen. that are here, get your wicked soul ready. That's it. To obey God because your own sins undoubtedly is exhausting you. Exhausting you. The Bible said, then Peter said to them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. Every one of you. In they the got name something of, to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. What did God promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody want to be right with God and obey the scriptures and get salvation the right way? Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ if you want it. Stand on your feet today if you want it. Because you would never be saved without it. Right. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, follow them. And come on around the front. Amen. Amen. All right, brothers, let's get ready. Who got the club together? Parker? All right. All right. Thank God for you. Sister Belly, is Sister Belly here? Sister Bell, is she here? Is in the back, is Brother Huey here yet? Brother Huey, is he here? All right, I need to meet with Sister Belly and Brother Huey at a uh, four o'clock sharp. God willing, and in, uh, in my conference room, God be my helper. I'm trying to get as much work done before I leave the country. All right, family, come on back. Prayer begin at 5.30. Let's get ready to stand because Kevin is gripped and ready to stand up. <laughs> You're going to ask Brother Minister Williams, who brags about his license to close us out in prayer. <laughs> All right. Father God, we do come to once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, again for all of your many blessings. We thank you, Father, for the words of the Lord that was preached and taught in our hearing, O oh God. We thank you, Father God, for the man of God. Continue to strengthen him and bless him and help him by thine spirit. Bless us, Father God, not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of thine word. Father God, remember those that go down and ward in the name of Jesus Christ and fill them with the gift of the Holy Ghost. My God, speaking in tongues as the spirit of God does give utterance. My God, bless us now and as we return back that no hurt, harm, or danger would fall upon us. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>